Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. You know, whether you love a, a mid-50 Chevrolet or you love the new Fiat 500, it doesn't really matter what it is, you like cars in general, it's very hard not to love an Impala Supersport. And this one here uh, rolled off the showroom floor very uh, similar to the way it is right now. It's been restored along the way and it comes from a beautiful collection. Um, somebody's moved on, the wife wanted to make sure that, uh, that whoever got this car was able to take care of it, have some fun in it, kind of carry on the fun and enthusiasm that they had in owning this vehicle. So uh, a lot of cars that were painted a different color. This car here, for instance, this car rolled off the factory as ember red paint, uh, which is nice to know that you're getting an original red car. And I'd like to show you a little bit about the quality of the paint, so come on up here and let's do that, okay? It's been recently painted and uh, it's on its last wet sand and buff and probably will shine even more by the time it gets to you. But see how you can read that nice and clear? Make sure that uh, if you're looking at cars on the internet, which you are right now, obviously, uh, that you're getting a video of the car that you're going to buy. You know, we uh, take full sets of pictures of the cars. We do a video of the car. So we're doing, uh, you know, 25 or 30 high def photos of the car. We're doing a high definition video of the car so you can see the good, the bad, the ugly, if there is any. And uh, that way you can make an informed decision. On top of it, our cars include free and closed door-to-door -door delivery. We've also gone through the car front to back, okay? This is all included in the price of the car, meaning when we say front to back, that the brakes are proper. We've changed the oil, the fluids are, uh, are all done. Uh, the squeaks and rattles are out. The turn signals work, the headlights work, the flashers work, the high beams work. You say, well, what's the big deal about that? Well, let me tell you, 99% of the cars that come here uh, that we get ready for somebody like you who's getting ready to get a car like this, none of that stuff works. It takes hours and hours of time and money uh, to get things. We can spend up to four and five thousand dollars getting a car just mechanically and electrically ready for uh, for display uh, for you to be able to, to enjoy that car. So that's the idea behind buying a car here is that you're ready to go. It's kind of turnkey and uh, it pulls up in the tractor trailer. You know we include that free and close shipping which I was talking about. This beautiful tractor trailer pulls up in front of your house. Out comes the elevator. The car lowers down. It's got a tag on the back, the guy fires the thing up, all your neighbors are like, wow, look at what he got. And all you need to do, man, is get in this car and go for a drive. We put gas in it, uh, we've, uh, like I said, changed the oil, the fluids are topped off, everything is really ready to go, and it's, uh, it's really a cool car. So uh, I want to show you a couple things here. Uh, we have uh, new bumpers, all right? Uh, some of these things you can't actually get anymore, so you have to get them re-chromed. Some of the pieces you still can't get, but it's got the bias tires on it, which are period correct for it. It's got the stainless hubcaps on it. This car is very authentic, very real. It's a car that you could take to a show uh, and, uh, and perhaps uh, win the whole event, who knows? Anyway, one thing it does have on it, it has an upgrade on it that you really can't see, but it's an upgrade that's accepted in most show arenas. It has disc brakes on it. And the disc brakes are hidden inside the wheels, uh, so nobody can really see it, but it really makes a big difference in the stopping power of them. And I think that uh, if you're ever wanting to upgrade something, this is one of the things that we do here a lot, is we upgrade and put disc brakes on uh, almost every single day. Anyway, so let's take a peek under the hood and see what we're talking about, okay? All right, this is kind of cool because it's designed to be authentic. For instance, the original kind of uh, a radiator shroud, the tar top looking battery right here, okay? You can see the numbers on the engine are here. This is an R code with the date that's on there that seems to be correct. It's got the original manifolds on it still. It's got the upgraded brakes on it, which we've talked about. It's got the OptiClean bottle in it. Just a uh, little stuff like that, just uh, to make sure. But it has new wiring, it has new brakes, it has new suspension, new hoses, it's detailed all under here. So that if you went to a show, you could open the hood and be proud of, uh, of showing off exactly what you have here. And the fact of the matter is, you know, this is 2012, let's say almost 2013. Uh, you know, this car is approaching the 50-year-old the mark. And uh, that's, a pretty, uh, that's a pretty big milestone, first off. And secondly, the fact that it's in this great condition for being almost 50 years old, it's amazing, and the fact is you can jump in this car and go for a drive today, all right? Let's go check out the rest of the details. Part of the details of this car is this machined turned uh, trim back here. This is representative of the jet engines of the day. You know, the jets were just kind of coming out at the time. Um, and just look at the style of this car. Even the trunk lid has style. You know, it's not, not a flat trunk lid like a Camaro or something like that, that. Not that I don't love Camaros, but uh, you know, this is just a cool piece. When it goes down the road, man, there is no way that you can't look at this car and go, wow, that is a cool car. I don't care if you hate cars, all right? You can't hate this. All right, check this out. More detail. Matching spare tire, okay? Painted and detailed jack. Carpet, I mean, uh, the uh, trunk trim is all done correctly. Still got the insulation inside here. 
new weather stripping, new bumper, just all the nice stuff that makes uh, a car just a little bit nicer to drive. Everything closes nicely, fits well. It just looks really cool going down the road. I mean, it's just a cool piece of American item. It's just like this right here. Check out this piece here, right on the tag. That's a pretty cool little piece of style. It's little stuff like that you don't really notice. You know, that probably took designers, you know, a month to decide whether, you know, that was the right piece, whether we put five lines in there, six lines in there, or seven lines in there. But you know, uh, this just exudes a smile. Even watching the video, I'm smiling. I'm thinking about it. Okay, let's check out the inside. Interior is brand new. The carpet is brand new. All the details inside here are new window cranks, handles, stuff like that. Part of restoring a car is the detail stuff. And the detail stuff takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of money. And the reason I say that to you is, uh, for instance, like the footwell lighting here works, right? That could take us one or two days just to trace all the wiring, get everything hooked up, get it so it all works, and get everything uh, uh, lit so that uh, so that you're getting the rest of the stuff. The other thing I wanted to show you was that I want to show you the dash. And you say, well, big deal about the dash. Well, I'm going to tell you what the big deal about the dash is. Okay? As soon as I learn how to put the right key in the car, which I did not know which one it was. Okay? Check this out. All of these lights still work. The brake light is showing that it's on and it's flashing like it's supposed to, letting you know, hey, hey, moron, don't drive off. Because back in the day, they didn't have the buzzer uh, for the brake and, and the flashing that we have today. This is right here, it's still hooked up to the choke. It lets it know that, uh, lets you know that the car is still cold. You're not gonna get full acceleration until the car warms up a little bit. And it's suggesting that you do that. Oil, low oil light still works. The generator light works. Just cool. Check out this man, original AM radio, and look what it says on it, Delco. All of the controls work here, the temperature. Here's the fan running. You say, well, what's the big deal about the fan running? You gotta be kidding me, man. You know how many times cars come here and no blower motor at all? I'm gonna send you a car that uh, if you live maybe in the, in the colder part of the world, uh, I send you and it's got no blower, no fan, you're gonna kill me. So I try to make sure that at least you get some blower speed, you get some heat uh, for those days that it's kind of ugly. Wipers work, all that kind of good stuff. Turn signals. And here's one important factor that we don't overlook. With 300 horsepower cars, if you got a four-speed, you automatically had to get the TAC. The TAC came on the car with the 300 horsepower and four-speed cars, and there she sits in all her glory. That's just a little lesson for Justin. I was just gonna throw that out for him so he knows from now on, if you get a four-speed with 300 horsepower, you gotta have a TAC. Uh, and how about we uh, start it for you now, because you know what? Uh, 327, 300 horsepower, that's still good power, and this car still sounds great. Isn't that nice too? Because the car is cold, right? Fired right up. I do know that we need. I noticed that we need to tighten that up right there. So I'll do that before the video is over. This is one of those cars that looks just as great with the top uh, down as the top is up. It has a new white top on it. Has a matching boot to go with it. And uh, it's super easy to put down. For instance, like if you want, uh, you know, on a Friday, you're gonna drive this car to work. Maybe uh, you come out of work, call on the wife, or the husband, or whatever it is you wanna do, call them and tell them that uh, you're heading home, turn the cell phone off, and uh, just go ahead and pop the top. And now you don't have to take any more text messages. You don't have to check any more email. You don't have to check anything but your pulse, because that is gonna be exciting. And then you have your choice, you can just throw the boot on the back and uh, roll on down the road or leave it just the way it is. Pick up this video here, we're talking about a 327, way more power than uh, it's rated for. This car is actually pretty quick. Uh, with a four speed, in red, with great red looking paint, great looking red paint, uh, all new white interior, white power convertible top with a matching boot, it's got the correct SS spinners on it, new chrome and stainless. Got the factory tack, all those cool lights on the dash work and stuff like that. This right here is what we call investment grade. So uh, when you have things like that that came out of the factory looking a lot like it did today with one or two modern small upgrades that you really can't see, uh, like the power disc brakes that we talked about, those are very nice. And the other thing that we do for a lot of people is we add an AM, FM, CD, satellite, iPod, stereo. Not a lot of money. We hide it in the glove box there. This way we don't have to cut up the dash. It looks all stock. It comes with a little remote. Uh, we do several of those a week here and it's uh, super easy 
Uh, takes no time at all and, uh, and happy to help out with that in any way we can. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We tell you all about real 63 Impala Supersport Convertible.